Hey Scorpio, what's going on? I hope you're very, very well. My name is Madam Butterfly and this is going to be a messages from your person for October. But it's timeless, Scorpio. So, you know, whenever you happen to get it is when you are meant to get it. Um, you are so welcome here. Thank you so much for checking out the reading. If it happens to resonate with you, Scorpio, don't forget to like and subscribe for me. You know, if you feel like doing that. Um, I'm not taking personal readings at the moment, Scorpio, but if you're looking for a personal reading, I can recommend my sponsor, Keen, which they're an online network of psychics. They're open 24 hours a day. If I can shuffle the cards. And you can choose which psychic you would like to talk to. So if you head over to trykeen.com forward slash Madam Butterfly, you will get your first 10 minutes for $1.99. So um, I can recommend Keen. And thank you very much to Keen for sponsoring this reading. So I'm just going to pull a couple of cards for what's going on with you at the moment, Scorpio. And then we're going to focus on your person, your person of interest. So what's going on with Scorpio? Judgment and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Um, with the Ten of Pentacles here. So, something's changing. You're making a decision about something. You might have been having some kind of realization about something. Um, you have the Ten of Pentacles here, so you could be stressing out about a commitment here. Or, this could be to do with moving house or getting a new job signing a new contract, you could be focusing on building up your bank, your money. I think you're very aware there's something about to change here and I, it's, it kind of feels to me like like you're tying up loose ends, you know what I mean? Like you're, you're very aware that something is about to happen and you're kind of preparing for it. Like you might have found that a lot more, you've been feeling a lot more practical recently, you know? like focusing on practical kind of earthy things, you know, like your appearance or focusing on cleaning the house, um, exercising properly, this kind of thing. But I feel like there are things changing for you. You might have your eye on someone. Well, you obviously do if you're watching this reading. <laughs> so I want to do a little Celtic cross here for your person. See what's going on with them, Scorpio. God, the weather outside is frightful. <laughs> right, you have the sun here. Yeah, you're having some kind of, I know this is your person, sorry. Okay, so your person has the sun here. So they're having some kind of epiphany. Um, possibly meeting you has made them happy. Yeah, no, it's, it's some kind of, I'm not saying that not, <laughs> meeting you probably did make them happy, but you have the sun crossed by the ace, ace of swords here. So your person is having like some kind of epiphany, some kind of breakthrough here. They have the Three of Pentacles. They have the Queen of Swords. All right, your person's had their heart broken in the past here, that they're healing from Eight of Swords in their near future. Yeah, they've had their heart broken. There was some kind of icky ending for them. Looks like they're gonna make a move on you though. And the King of Swords. Okay. So your person, their overall energy is the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck here. And they've just, I don't know if you saw what happened there, probably not, but this card kind of flipped over to show this one. <clears throat> so they're, they're leaving something behind, this person that you're dealing with. Six of Swords, Eight of Cups. What else have we got here? You've got the Ten of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. So some kind of heavy burden. Um, five of Pentacles can indicate they might have had money problems. This person might be having some money problems. Um, 
Five of Pentacles is being left out in the cold though. Like it's it's major depression. <laughs> it's like major bummerville, you know. Um, with the Ten of Wands here, this is some kind of heavy burden this person's been carrying around for a while. But they're they're leaving it behind now because they're having some kind of epiphany here with the, the sun and the ace of swords. And I feel this is probably to do with you, Scorpio. But definitely some kind of heartbreak in their past. Um, they're also seeing, they see themselves as this Ten of Swords, which is an ending, some kind of painful ending here. So they do see themselves as putting this painful ending behind them, okay? Because you have it in combination with the Sun and the Ace of Swords here. So they're leaving that part of their past behind, you know? Um, I feel they would like to take this connection kind of slow, but I don't think they will for some reason. They will be stuck in their head in the near future. They will be a little guarded with you. You have the Queen and the King of Swords here. So, this is nice. It kind of looks like, um, you're showing up here as the Queen of Swords, Scorpio, regardless of your gender. And your person is showing up here as the King of Swords. They might see you as very, very similar to them. Um, they might see you as like particularly like, um, they, you know, it's talking. They really like talk. if I can get my words out. <laughs> you know, when you have the the King and the Queen of Swords like that, it's like a level of intelligence that they're aware of within you. It's, it's not that they're not attracted to you in other ways, of course they are, but it's, you know, you might have a very similar sense of humor. You know, you might intellectually stimulate this person. They really enjoy talking to you. They see you as someone very, very smart, very intelligent with the Queen of Swords. Maybe a slightly better speaker than them is what I want to say there. Um, but they do see you, like when you have the King and the Queen of Swords like this, um, you know, it's like a soulmate match. They do see you as like a very good match for them. Um, they might be a little more guarded than you about this Scorpio. You know, this person, they have the Eight of Swords in their near future, okay? So they will be overthinking this connection. Um, you could be dealing with an air sign. There's quite a lot of swords in this reading. And with the King of Swords in the outcome position, they will be going about this s smartly. You know, they're going to... Um, they're, they're probably not going to give too much away too quickly, you know, with the King of Swords. You might be dealing with someone here. See, they might... They might like this about you because the King of Swords doesn't, you know... It's not that he doesn't have emotions, of course he does have emotions, but he doesn't really like talking about them so much. You know what I mean? He's not one of those kind of people, he or she. So they might appreciate that in you. You know that you're not super gushy or whatever. Like that you can have a laugh and like you're not super dramatic. Do you know what I mean? Like you can just kind of have a, a you can just talk to each other and it's like easy and it's entertaining and it's fun. And it's interesting. You might have some very interesting conversations. Um, clarify that in Knight of Wands, please. This person's going to make a bold move here towards you. This is exactly the energy of the Knight of Wands. Is someone that makes a bold move. He's not quite as fast as the Knight of Swords, but... There's like an impetuousness <laughs> about the Knight of Wands, you know, it's, um, the Knight of Wands is a bit, sh is, he's shyer, you know, he or she is shyer um, than the Knight of Swords, excuse me, <coughs> and just as I'm saying that, my throat closed over, um, so this person might not be as good a talker as you, Scorpio, you know, they might not be as charming, 
you know, you're not dealing with the king of wands here, you're dealing with a knight, okay? So they might be a little bit intimidated by the situation. Um, but nonetheless, they are going to come towards you. The knight of wands can be slightly impulsive, right? The way that they come towards you might be a little clumsy, might be a little awkward. <laughs> But they're going to do it. I think this person is naturally shy. They could be naturally kind of shy. Um, they might front very well with the King of Swords. You know, the King of Swords is an excellent front front man <coughs> or front woman. Um, but they're going to summon up their courage and they're going to do something about this. So Scorpio, they're going to make a move on you. Um, with this Temperance card here, I think they would actually like to take things quite slow with you. You know, because it's like they've had this epiphany, you know, they've met you, they've had this epiphany that like they're getting this second chance, they're getting this new opportunity here, but they're still smarting from something, you know, because the temperance is like, it appears after a bunch of stuff has just changed, you know, um, so they're, they're probably still kind of trying to get back on their feet a wee bit and, you know, find themselves a little bit here. Clarify that Eight of Swords, please. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. They're definitely going to hugely overthink this, Scorpio. Okay. Eight of Swords and the Hermit. Massively, <laughs> massively, massively overthink it. You could for sure be dealing with an air sign. Um, or you could be dealing with a Virgo. They're massive overthinkers too. But you know what? Everybody has like overthinking tendencies, I guess. Um... Yeah, this person is going to be massively in their head, but they really like you. They really, really like you. And look at that. The death card, that's your card right underneath it. They really like you. Um, they're coming, they, they're, they're coming for union, okay? With the, with you there, right? They're coming, they're coming for union with you, right? They want union with you, but they will be in their head. Uh, give me a bit more on this near future, please. The hanged man. All right, you might have to wait a bit for this offer, okay? The hanged man being stuck in their head. But you know what I see poking out here? I see this guy, Knight of Pentacles, which tells me that, yes, this person's going to overthink. Yes, they're going to be stuck in their head. You might have to wait, but there will be an offer. It might come slowly, <laughs> but there will be an offer. Um... Let's get a bit more on this King of Swords here. You are definitely dealing with someone very slow though, Scorpio. Uh, clarify this King of Swords, please. Yeah, look at that. They're very much seeing you as this kind of Queen of Cups energy here. I think, they, I think they're a bit worried you're gonna, you're not gonna accept the offer. I think they're worried that you're just being nice to them, to be honest. You have this King of Swords here, right? So someone that's not great at expressing emotions, they're going to guard them, you know. They're going to be sensible about, about this, right? If I can talk, oh my god. They're going to be sensible about this. They're going to, you know, they are going to approach you. Boom, Ace of Cups. Because they, they do really like you. They do really, you know, depending on how well you know this person, you know, the Ace of Cups is love. There could have been like an instant kind of, with the King and the Queen of Swords, there's some kind of instant connection here. You know, you have the Ace of Cups here. Overflowing emotions, lots of emotions here, being very, very drawn to you. Very, very drawn to you. Um, wanting to make you an offer, okay, with the Ace of Cups, but see here? <laughs> See how you have the ace here and then there's you in this person's head right there's you ignoring it because you have all these other cups right so this person's like scared that you're gonna you know they're gonna reach out to you and you're gonna be like biatch please like you think you're the only one <laughs> get out of here because with the queen of cups energy here i feel this person is kind of just worried that you're just nice 
like you're just being nice to them, you know, because they see you as that kind of energy, the Queen of Cups, like, you know, there's that Two of Cups again. Um, yeah, with the Queen of Cups, they see you as like empathic, they see you as very sweet, compassionate, you know, so I think they're just, they're just a little worried, you know, that you're going to reject them. It's cute. Um, what else for the outcome, please? And if there's a cross watch you're watching, I apologise. I don't mean to be patronising. That was too many cards, Spirit. I don't even know which one that was. Um, tell me a bit more about the outcome, please. Tell me a bit more about the outcome. Okay, the Emperor. So you have, this person's going to be levelling up, okay. You will focus, camera. I don't know what your problem is, but you will focus. Sorry, Scorpio. There we go. Ha. Ha. Um, right. That's, I just wanted to show you the card. That was all. Um, yeah, with the Emperor here, this person's... They're going to be levelling up, okay? They're going to be levelling up. They're going to be getting their groove back here. Getting serious here. Ten of pentacles. Looks like there's a commitment here, Scorpio. Looks like there's a commitment coming in here. It won't be without its worries, okay? You're definitely dealing with a worrier, but they'll control it. They won't let you see how much they're worrying. Looks like it's going to end in a commitment here, or at least there's the potential for a commitment here with you guys. Um, let me just pull another card. Give me another card for the outcome, please, Spirit. I don't really know which one that was. Um, okay, you have the star and the three of wands here. And I see that two of cups peeping out again. It's There's a commitment, there's union coming in here, Scorpio. Um, with the, the star card and the three of wands, there's like healing coming in here. You know, the star card is also wish fulfillment. Um, but I feel this is gonna be a very healing relationship for both of you because you're both on the same page with the three of wands here, you know, you're both on the same page here. And this person's going to, they will be ready. They will, they will be ready in the future, okay? Um, I do feel they're going to make some kind of move towards you, okay, with this knight of wands. It might be kind of stilted, you know, there might be like a lot of, you know, they might reach out to you. I, I don't know, it might be like a lot of back and forth before they get really comfortable with you. So I think that's what I'm trying to say. But like I said, you might have to wait here. Yeah, look, union coming. So I think there'll be some kind of union soon, but you might have to wait for this person to really open up to you, you know. But they'll get there in the end. Oh, you have you changed the way I think? High praise indeed. Let's get another couple here, Scorpio. That's quite a lot. I'm not taking four. What else for Scorpio, please? I yeah, you have I think you are amazing. There's a lot of thinking here. I'm wondering if you are dealing with an air sign. And you have you are always on my mind. You also have here it's safe for you to love again. So I do feel like this person's kind of recovering from something here, Scorpio. Yeah, it's looking good. I think it's just a matter of time, really. Um, okay, you're always on my mind, wanted to come out again. So I do think with this Knight of, I keep coming back to this Knight of Wands, but that is kind of an impulsive energy. So I feel like it's gonna be like a, hey, <laughs> Like that's how they do it, like they come and talk to you and it's kind of unexpected and it might be a bit sporadic and it might be a bit awkward <laughs> or stilted, you know, but that's how it's going to start, I think. So, um, not necessarily awkward, okay, you know, the Knight of Wands has got game, he's got, he's still got some charm, you know, he or she, they got charm, they got game, not as much game as the, the King of Wands, okay. 
So I think it's nerves. It's nerves with this person because there is something I'm kind of picking up here about self-esteem, you know? I think whatever happened in their past, maybe, maybe they're a little out of the game, something like that, Scorpio, you know? So uh, I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the reading. It was a pleasure to read for you, Scorpio. Excuse me, don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. Oh, excuse me, and take care, Scorpio. Lots of love.